Hey guys, it's Rich Man. Today I want to show you how to set up your Apple TV. I'm going to show you certain settings that you need to turn on, certain ones that you probably want to turn off, and certain settings that you need to have in order to get the best possible viewing experience from your Apple TV, especially if you're streaming 4K content. But before we get to that, if you like this kind of content, make sure you head down, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this video with a friend. And make sure you also check out the link to my second channel and subscribe to it below. It really will help me out, guys. Now let's get started. So here I am on the Apple TV home screen. You know, it's going to show you up top here different things that Apple's promoting right now, different things that are running on Apple TV or that they want you to purchase, right? But, you know, if you want to, you can swipe up for a full screen if you want, like that. And if you want to get out of that, just hit your home screen button here. So now we're going to scroll down. So I'm going to um, highlight the settings tab here, click on that. And the first thing you'll see is general. Then we go down to screen saver not screen saver, screen saver. <laughs> and you can select different screen savers here. I've got Arial selected. You can go into Apple Photos, home sharing, music library. Of course, in the Apple world, you can tie everything together. You can watch all the photos you have on your phone. You can watch on your, your Apple TV. Okay, now we're gonna scroll back and the appearance is light. You can set it to light or dark here or automatic. So depending on what time of day it is, it'll switch modes. And you can set it to sleep. I have it to sleep after 15 minutes where I'm not using it. It'll just go to sleep. Restrictions here I have off, but if you want to turn them on for parental controls, here's where you can input a, a PIN number. And if we go down to privacy here, you can see location services I have turned on. You might want to turn them off if you, you know, if you don't want to be tracked, if you want, don't want people to know where you're located. If you go into photos, here's where your photos are going to show up. Apps that have requested access to your photos will appear here. Now Bluetooth, this is very uh, this is a very nice feature because I've got a pair of Bose Quiet Comforts. Uh, that's the the 35.2, I believe, and I hook them up right through Bluetooth. You can also hook up any Bluetooth headset. You can hook up if you have the AirPods, if you have the the uh, AirPod Pros. Now let's scroll back. To where it says settings and you're going to see all these different categories uh, video and audio now these are settings that are very critical to how your content is going to stream on your tv i have a tcl 75 inch 4k television but not everything coming through your apps is going to be 4k so you want the, the apple tv to be able to adjust to give you the best possible picture so here's where you're going to, going to um, change your format the 4K SDR. If you go in here, it'll show you all these different options. But you want to select 4K SDR at 60 hertz. And, and then go into your chroma settings. If you have the latest HDMI cable, um, you do have to have the latest, I think it's 2.1 HDMI cable in order to set it on 444. Otherwise, go with the 420 setting here on chroma. And then under match content, you want to have it to match range and frame rate. So, you know, if you go in here, you'll see that I have them both turned on. The reason you want to do that is because if it's streaming in a different format than 4K, it's going to automatically switch to whatever format that's streaming so that you have the best possible viewing experience. So again, make sure don't enable Dolby Vision because it's going to automatically switch to Dolby Vision if something that you're streaming has Dolby Vision. Just go into format, put it on 4K SDR, and uh, set your chroma to 444 or 420, and make sure your match content is turned on. Here you can check your HDMI connection to, to make sure that your HDMI cable is of the latest specs, so you can stream in 4K. Uh, a lot of times, if you, if you don't have the, if you have an older HDMI cable and you try to hook up the 4K Apple TV, you're going to see it sputters and you get lines and flicker and all kinds of stuff. That just means that you need a better HDMI cable. So 
you know, I would say go over to Amazon. In fact, I'll leave a link in the description below to a fairly inexpensive one that you can purchase for your Apple TV 4K. That will, you know, any problems that you're having with the picture, that will solve a lot of them. Here you can reset everything if you need to start over again. You messed something up here, you're not sure what you did. Just hit reset. Now here's your AirPlay and HomeKit. So of course I have it turned on, so if I want to AirPlay something for my iPhone, it automatically finds the Apple TV and will start streaming it on my TV. Accessibility, here's where you want to go in, and that's where you can set up how you view your closed captions. Now remember, a lot of the stuff on your Apple TV isn't free. So you will have stuff like Netflix and Hulu and all those require a subscription, of course. Apple TV itself requires a subscription if you want to get Apple TV+. Plus. And if you want to watch movies or TV from Apple, of course, you can, from the iTunes store, you, of course, you can download them. You can either rent them or, or buy them, which, you know, if you want to buy, if you want to get into buying digital content, which seems to be the wave of the future, you can do it right on the, from the home screen there. Now under system, you can see it gives you info, it gives your help info, your legal info, what's new info. And here's your software update. So every once in a while, you just want to go in here and check. A couple of times I've had software updates that they didn't automatically update. I had to go in and manually update them. So if you go in here, you see I have automatic update turned on. But like I said, a couple of times I've gone in here and it hasn't been updated. So, you know, you can click on update software and it's going to search and it's going to tell you whether you need to download anything. You can see mine's up to date. So now let's go back to the home screen just by hitting that uh, the home monitor looking button here on the top right. And a couple of things that you can do with these apps, you can move them around if you want. So let's say for instance, um, YouTube here. If you click and hold on the top pad here, you'll see that it starts to wobble. So when it does that, then you can just scroll it over and you can put it wherever you want it. And then you just click on that, that upper part, that upper pad here, and it'll place it right where you put it. Just like that. And then back to the home screen, you'll see here you have your iCloud photos. So if you want to see photos that you're uploading to the cloud through your phone, if you click on that, you can turn on iCloud photos. So I think that's about it for this video, guys. I've showed you how to optimize your settings for video. That's an especially important part of setting up your Apple TV. Make sure you have those, uh, those video settings set up the way I showed you, and it will automatically set for you. Some people have had problems with their screen turning a different color. I've had that happen myself at times. And what you wanna do, if that's the case, it's probably your HDMI cable that causes a lot of these various uh, visual problems you'll have with your Apple TV. But what you can do to reset it is just go into your settings and then you're gonna go down to where it says system and then you're just gonna restart your system. Don't reset it. All you have to do is restart it. When it comes back up again, it takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds, the screen should be back to normal. Then make sure you replace that HDMI cable and make sure you also go back into those settings and under video and audio and make sure they're set up just like this. Your format, again, 4K SDR. Uh, your Chrome is set on 444 if you have the latest cable, if not 420. And also range and frame rate match content. Very important, guys. So that's it for today. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below smash that like button, and share this video with a friend. And also, check out my second channel. I'll put a link in the description and the comments below. This is Rich Man. I'll see you next time.